Helicopters review uh, for two new battle mats by GameMat.eu. Uh, so we're going to take a look at these mats here, uh, get them out of their packaging uh, and take a look at them uh, in this video. So uh, what's new for these, well, more of a recent development for mats here by GameMat.eu is that they come in these cases now as standard which is really really good. Uh, these things can get damaged when you roll them up, try and store them away. Uh, but now with these carry bags they're easy to, to carry around and it makes you roll them up nice and tight and in, in good shape and then put them in the bag and they're really well protected so a brilliant move there from gamemat.eu uh, to supply uh, these cases with the mats so I'm just going to open this one up here this one's called Death Weld Forge it's quite an extreme design so if you're looking for a mat with a very, very strong theme behind it, then this will be the one that you're after here. But strong use of colour, a strong design. We'll get it rolled out and then we'll take a, uh, a look at the whole thing. So uh, there's the design. We'll, we'll come right out, zoom out a bit later just to get a look at the whole thing. But that gives you an idea of the design here. So as I say, quite an extreme design. Uh, it's like a, a, a lava sort of wasteland and then like a... A uh, forge has been put on top, sort of mechanical, industrial type style on top of that. So quite extreme, nice spread of different colours here. Uh, different style as well. It looks like, uh, instead of a mesh of like uh, photographs and images being used uh, to build this one, it looks like a, a piece of artwork. So it's an artist's work here uh, for uh, the overall design uh, as opposed to photographs and images being mashed together. Uh, I reckon to use this one, I mean, good for games like, uh, well, things like Skitari Space Marines would look good on here, uh, anything to do with Chaos as well, uh, Necrons even, I think, would look pretty good on this table, but I think you would need to build it up with uh, a fair amount of terrain, Just, it is a very strong theme, so I think if you pushed up a nice lot of terrain on this one, I think it would look pretty good. And a way to do that would be like the, the ruins uh, that Games Workshop produce, not have no basing for them, just ruins as they are, uh, and then just stack them all up, loads of ammunition crates, boxes and barrels. If you filled the whole thing out, I think it actually would look pretty good. Uh, but as I said, quite an extreme design, uh, the GameMat.eu have produced it. But then that's what you're looking for from them. Uh, you want a nice variety uh, to match in with whatever theme uh, you're looking to play your games on. So. The material here is like the same material as you get for a mouse mat pad. So you have those pads that you put your mouse on. So you, you get like a material finish here and then the rubber on the back. So it's a nice grip surface just there. And then uh, the, a nice smooth surface on here where the design is printed on top. So nice sheen to it but not, not glossy at all. Not So it's going to glare. You can see on the, on the camera here there's no shiny. Uh, areas so that's a nice matte sort of finish uh, there so that's not going to be a problem nice and figure friendly if your figures fall over you've got lead ones or resin or fine cast and they fall over it's not going to cause any damage and they're nice and quiet for dice rolls as well you can see that in our battle report games when you see dice rolling taking place the dice are nice and quiet there's no clattering sound uh, that you get uh, with other harder surfaces so nice quality and it instantly solves uh, that trouble we often find trying to play a game of 140,000 probably the difficult part as far as terrain is concerned is trying to get a nice gaming surface to play on um, and back in the day uh, I, when I before these mats came along I used to try and build a gaming surface there's a lot of storage effort involved you just get chipped and bashed around and get worn out but now you just have the mat uh, and then you roll it up roll it out play games roll it back up again and then you can stick all your terrain on top and add some nice effects and you can have a very nice uh, terrain setup indeed. Uh, so there it is, Death World Forge. That's that one, that's the first one. And then in contrast, we're going to take a look at another map and uh, you'll see this one's a completely different style. Okay, so just zoomed out here so you can see the full design. Uh, so a larger industrial area running along here and then sort of a bridge connection. I mean, it would make quite a fun game if you made some rules for the sort of the lava area, lava area made it impassable, dangerous terrain. Uh, and then Running along here, it connects to this industrial area and then it branches off over here as well uh, to uh, other parts of the board just there. But 6x4 is the size for this one. 
So, uh, this one's called Forgotten Realm. Uh, now these are, there's different types of mats available. I've been looking into this around uh, on the internet. There's different types of mats out there. Um, for, I would recommend you do get these uh, mouse mat or mouse pad material ones. They're thicker, more expensive. I'm going to pay a bit more. Um, but that is, that's nice quality there, the thickness. These usually always roll out nice and flat. They don't crinkle. If you buy ones that are PVC or plastic, they can get all crinkly. It could be a nightmare. Um, but these have a nice weight to them and they sit well on the table and they're good quality. So I, my recommendation is to go for uh, that mouse pad or mouse mat material if you can. Uh, you may pay a bit more compared to other mats that are available, but I think it's worth it. So Forgotten Realm here, and actually this one, see this is going back to the, the other style which is uh, photography photographs, uh, you know, Photoshop mashed together uh, to make a battle mat. So there's, there's two different styles here, not just colour scheme wise, but also in the style of the, the way the mat's been put together. Let's just take away the cover there, and then we'll get this one rolled out. Right, so uh, rolled out this Forgotten Realms here, and uh, we'll we'll take a close look at the details in a moment. But uh, completely different style. This one here, very straightforward design. Uh, so patchy, sort of worn out grass here. So cracked sort of earth grass here, and then a nice wide road running all the way around. So it's a central piece, and then uh, roads branching off in different directions. Uh, no markings on this to show that it's for Warhammer 40,000, you know, no futuristic stuff, uh, no fantasy stuff on here, so it's sort of quite a neutral uh, uh, mat, this one, so yes, it can be used easily for Warhammer 40,000, but also, I'm thinking uh, Age of Sigmar, uh, bolt action miniatures, I think would look really good on this one here as well, if you get some um, nice World War II buildings, uh, I reckon would look very good on this board as well so or on this mat so but nice quality this one very good on detail and sometimes you get a mat and the details are sort of repeating themselves all across the table but this one uh, is very well put together just looking very very good it's going to zoom out so you can see the full design right so zoomed out here so you can see the full design so central uh, sort of area here the road runs all the way around and then the road the roads uh, go off in all directions, running all the way across to there and around. I'll just zoom in on the detail here, it's quite impressive. So you can see the, the grass there and the cracked earth, then the curb stones here, cobbled streets, then coming across, ground breaks up even more in the middle, and then sort of really broken up there in the middle there, then coming to grass again, so pretty good actually. And then here the cobbles break up here, just to break them up, make them nice and random. So, nice job, very impressed with this one. So, that's the view of this one, Forgotten Realms. Uh, as I said, just, just thinking, yeah, it's suitable for Warhammer 40,000, 40, but also uh, for other gaming systems, for sure. And definitely historical. You could easily use this one uh, for historical games. And just to give you an idea on scale, there's a Rhino. Sits just there, so two Rhinos could pass each other just about. Uh, on the wider sections and then there's sort of narrower sections as well so uh, the roads look wide but actually to scale they're pretty much just perfect so and just show you, it actually looks you know these mats <laughs> sometimes the plain ones turn out the best because you then add your terrain on top and then uh, you have something actually very impressive indeed so i'm actually looking forward to using this one for games just completely changes the atmosphere and it's a nice foundation here uh, to build your train up on top of that imperial fists up actually look really nice on this train the cobbled streets i think and the pack the attention to detail on the grass here uh, makes for a very good quality mat here indeed so that's the review for both of those mats. As I said, you can get them from gamemat.eu. Uh, they do supply all over the world. Uh, they're based in Europe, but uh, you can get them, I think, wherever you are in the world. But these are 6x4. They've got different mats as well available on the website in different sizes and uh, mats for different gaming systems as well. But there it is. That's the review. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.